Ah, oh, I can't wait to just sit down on the couch and relax and not have to worry about anything at all. Nathan Buckley. Hello? Yeah, g'day card man. Just gonna let you know I won't be coaching this week. You're not coaching? Yeah, Fiji holiday. The Anzac Day thriller? Yeah, I kinda need you to coach the game. You want me to be the coach? Yeah, but don't panic. There's only one thing I need you to do. Yeah, what's the one thing? Make sure the boys don't get a single handball. You're not- you gotta be joking or me. Or they'll be completely fucked. No handballing? You want me to tell the players not to handball? Yeah, otherwise they'd be dropped. Or else they get dropped? Yeah, and delisted. Or even delisted? Yeah, so you better have got everything I said. Anyways, the missus is calling me. I gotta go. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Alright, well, thanks, Buckley. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and I have been really trying to pump out lots of content this week and this is, yeah, I'm going to try and get five videos out this week so it's a bit of a filler video. I've been contemplating ideas, it's been tough with the um, coronavirus, not knowing what to upload. I tried to film an AFL skit, I failed after 20 minutes because that was just garbage. I tried to draw AF every AFL team logo up in 10 minutes. That was a complete failure and I stopped after Carlton and I was just like, what should I do? So I decided, hey, AFL Evolution 2 is still popular, right? Uh, I've been doing a career mode on, on it and I thought I'd like to do another challenge video. The one I did on the biggest AFL comeback, that got almost 5,000 views. So it seemed like you guys enjoyed it and I enjoyed making it. So what we're going to be doing in this challenge video is trying to win a game without handballing. Yeah, I think it's going to be tough. I'm not too sure. I have. I mean, obviously, handballing is a crucial part of the game. That um, yeah, you need to handball really in a game of footy. Otherwise, you'd be pretty screwed. So well, let's see if I'll be screwed in this match. We're going to be doing an Anzac Day rematch. Um, obviously, it's not Anzac Day, but yeah, we're going to do an Anzac Day rematch because why not? Um, and I've bumped up the difficulty as well to all Australian to make it even more exciting. To see if I can cope with the increased difficulty and make it even more challenging. All right, so the Collingwood versus Essendon Anzac Day rematch. What a thriller it's going to be. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get smashed. Hopefully we can get this challenge completed. It's going to be tough. Definitely got to be at my very best. And I've had a few other attempts at this as well. Um, yeah, I, pr I played a previous game that was really exciting, but the um, footage wasn't recording. I forgot to press record. So that was very frustrating. Yeah. So Brody Grundy, can he start it off well? He does. Good hit out, and he we could get a first inside fifty. Good start. Great start, actually. Oh, so Thomas straight away. So Trelaw got a number, but he can't really handball to him. Can he? So we'll go along to Hoskin Elliott and. He played on, which was pretty stupid since I had a lot of time, and we'll make sure we won't waste it. Pendlebury, pretty good kick actually, and and um and Stevenson can go back and slot the goal, first goal of the match. Pretty good feeling to get the first goal in Anzac Day, but he's got to slot this. And we'll make sure that it's gone all the way because I've read your comments one. and I Collingwood knew why I wasn't um, getting the goal because I didn't have it all the way in the bar. But we got the first goal and we've started pretty well. And I've kicked it to no one in particular, but I've kicked it to Saad and he can run. He can bounce. He can do what he does best and I can't do much about that. But he's missed it, which is very, very, yeah, very surprising. Well, actually, not really. They can't kick the um, AI. I just realised that. So not really that surprising. However, that was. Bell Chambers kicks a goal out of nothing. And he goes for the dribbler, and that's all right. Oh, bullshit. That was a goal from Maine. That wasn't a throw. Thomas got to tackle this. We could get this. Stevenson. And will that roll in? No, it won't. Unlucky bounce. But Bucko kicks it off the ground out of nothing and suckers it through for a goal. So we got that late goal that we that we needed. Travis Barco. And as you can see, on the stats, we haven't handballed yet. So we can get this challenge done. Coach Nathan Buckley strictly told us, make sure to win the game. But if you handball, you get dropped next week. 
a lot of the other days, but usually Anzac Day is a really valuable player, and that's no exception. So another goal. It's been goal for goal so far. Entertaining, though, for the fans. Oh, okay, we got it. Out of nothing, Elliot can go and kick the first of the quarter and put them back in front. Yeah, this should go through. Just make sure not to go all the way. Be smart and that. That's going to go through. Surely it goes through. And that is... Oh, the wind. Good tap. Oh, not really. Straight to Heppel. And that's going to be a goal. So another long goal from the Bombers. And a very unlucky goal as well. Because Grundy got that tap. But Heppel, he made most of his chances. Surely don't get another one. Danaher was a clutch Anzac Day player. We'll kick another one. So that's three in a row for the Bombers. Been a horror quarter. And luckily not. Oh, ooh, I'm so glad that was half time because Bell Chambers would have gobbled that one up. We've been outplayed all quarter, really. I mean, we've on the scoreboard, it definitely says that. But in general play, we weren't too bad. Just couldn't capitalise. Smith. And that's going to be another... Another shot and goal for the Bombers. They have been dominant since quarter time. No, yep, no problems. So that's four in a row. And a very accurate Bombers, which is surprising. And they, yeah, they probably will. So Darcy Parrish. And he, yep, he has. Wow, I've been unlucky. The AI have been really good at goaling. And Essen have kicked six goals, one. Got to get a tackle there, and we do. And side bottom has wasted it. Far out. We've been wasteful, haven't we? The video needs him to kick it. But I, oh, I let everyone down, and I put the bar all the way. I'm not too sure how long there is to go on this quarter. And that is the quarter. So that's three-quarter time. Another pretty poor quarter for us. We finished decent, but we just couldn't get the goals. Um, still no handballs. Yeah, look at that. No goals since quarter time. Bombers kicked the last six, and they've been accurate. We haven't. Another chance at it, but another really weird shot and goal. Straight to Merritt. And a kick out of nothing. Yes! So still side bottom. Quick kick on goal, and we get the goal we needed early. Yeah, the one who just kicked the goal. Stevenson, he's done a lot of that lately. Oh, that could bounce through. Out of bounds. So, yet again, we'll take that, because we get a chance to stop and start again. And, yes, we get another one. We get another goal, so two quick ones. My check this time. And the Pies are now back within eight points. This could be a real Anzac Day comeback. Stevenson, who's been, who's been good. He's been big. Can he lift in this big occasion and get another goal? This would be a massive goal. And it looks good off the boot. It, yes, it is. So we've got three in a row. What a last quarter. The Pies have been big in this last quarter. They have been massive. This would be huge to get this goal. Thomas. That's good. That is looking great. And it is gone through. The Pies have got four last quarter goals in an absolute thrilling Anzac Day last quarter. What a quarter. The momentum shift completely. They surely not. Surely not. Streaming down the middle. Streaming down the middle. They've been very accurate and they might get one back. Fantasia has kicked the goal. They just don't look like missing the Bombers. And the the clock, which, um, yeah, it's ticking up. So we don't know how long there is to go. We've got to get a goal. Good inside 50. Who's there? Varko. Now, does he pick onto the loose ball? He does. That is a sensational pass. Now, Chris Main. This is a big kick. Chris Main has got it. What a goal. We've got one back. What a kick by Chris Main. I might, might have scared a few of you with that massively loud reaction, but that's a massively big goal. And we have no idea how long there is to go. Essendon, get that ball in. Just got to kick it out. High tack. Oh, shit, no. 
Merry, we don't know how long there is to go on this Anzac Day Thriller. Fantasia, there's going to be seconds left. There's surely got to be seconds left remaining. Yes! Siren! What a game! Oh my god. Now let's just check if I film that. Oh, okay, two, a double win. I, okay, I filmed that game as well, because as I said before, I played two other games and I forgot to film, because I'm an idiot, and I like wasting my time. And zero handballs. You wouldn't see that ever in an Anzac Day match. I mean, Nathan Buckley, interesting tactics to um, not allow his boys to handball it, but luckily it paid off. So... Look at the stats. What do we got? Essendon more of the ball. We've got a lot more of the inside 50s. Um, they got a lot more marks and tackles and obviously handballs. We got more kicks and more hitouts. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did because that'd be much appreciated so I can keep up, keep it up with this content. If you're new to this channel, subscribe for more AFL content as well as AFL Evolution 2 content. Also, let me uh, leave your video ideas down below because... um. As I said before, I was trying to um, experiment with video ideas, but I just couldn't execute them. So if you have any good ones, um, let me know and I'll shout you out and give you a um, mention if I think they're good enough. But yeah, other than that, stay tuned for a footy card video coming up this weekend and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Cheers.